What's going on everyone? Welcome back to video number two for this year. It's not episode two though, it's not a vlog. What this is, is what I picked up in Orlando as like a sort of tech clothes type of haul. That's what I'm going to do this year. Basically when we go over there, I always pick up all this stuff and then I never show it off in any way, shape or form. I went a bit crazy on the clothes side of things, so we'll jump into the clothes after the tech. But I'll do some clothes now and then tech and then more clothes, so we'll do it that way around. So first up is these Adidas flip flop slides, whatever you want to call them. Pick these up in Foot Locker. Everything that you see in the video, by the way, I'll try and link in the description down below if you want to check them out for yourselves. But Adidas slides, flip flops, whatever you want to call them, super comfortable. Normally I wear the Nike ones, but I was wearing I was wearing trainers more than slides for a change. Normally I wear the other way around. Some stuff that I picked up. Let's uh, let's jump into the t-shirt side of things. This was just a purchase. Basically, we went to see the Orlando Magic in a basketball game, and I picked up the Magic versus Rockets t-shirt. You get the basically the official game t-shirt. So there's that. Picked that up in the Amway Center for ten dollars. That's the official game shirt. Picked that up. That's just gonna be like a pajama chill type of top it's not going to be anything for going out or nothing the stuff that i've started getting into because it's super comfortable but we'll go into that a bit later on let's go with some tech for now so this is what i'm going to be using for the podcasts and also for any interviews or outside recording that i want to do this is the zoom h1 it's got a little record button here i have ordered a fluff for the top but it's not like a proper fluff it looks like more like a microphone like a proper microphone so I've ordered that, that should be here very soon. Expect a video on this coming soon though, when I launch the podcast. And obviously I'll tell you stuff that I've used and how I make the podcast as well. So be sure to stay on the lookout for that one. But this is the Zoom H1. Comes with a battery already included and a 2 gig memory card. Which gives you 3 hours of voice record. Next up, GameStop were doing a deal over Christmas where you got, they were doing like the... Major titles, half price. Now I wish I would have been a bit quicker, basically to get in there, and I would have been able to pick up FIFA 18, uh, NFL, NHL, and NBA. But unfortunately, I was only able to pick up one of them. Need for Speed Payback. I got this half price right before Christmas Day. I got this. I picked this up Christmas Eve. And I paid thirty dollars for it, and it was like sixty dollars or thirty dollars. Staying with tech. Best Buy do a price match with Amazon as long as it's fulfilled and stocked by Amazon. So what I picked up was this one terabyte blue Western Digital hard drive. It's one terabyte. I picked this up for like fifty dollars, and it is price matched. So there's this. I also picked up this. This is the Tile Sport. This is actually on my car keys at the moment. I haven't fully set it up yet. There'll be a video coming on it soon. But I also got them to price match that while I was at the till with this. Next up is something that there's going to be a video coming on very very shortly so make sure you stay tuned for that. This is a mini drone comes with a remote control it's in this awesome blue it's called the Atom 1.0 micro drone it's for indoor and outdoor use. Got a six axis gyro, push button 360 aerial stunts and three speed settings for beginner to advance and yeah make sure you stay tuned I'll be doing an unboxing and a first look at this little tiny drone so this is my first drone by the way as well i did want it to be the, the phantom or the mavic but this will do for now little 12 dollar drone we'll see how good it is in a video coming soon they were doing an offer on this right before christmas and i managed to pick one up this is obviously the stuff i've told you about where i'm going to be getting into home tech there's going to be home like automation there's going to be bulbs etc there's going to be all kinds of stuff coming very soon to videos, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But, Google Home Mini, my first step into it. First step into home, home tech, and I bought the Google Home Mini. So expect an unboxing video and a setup video coming in the next couple of days or so. It's going to be set up behind me. I hope you're ready for that. There's, going to be another, there's plenty of videos going to be coming this year already, so make sure you stay tuned for this. We'll go with the, no, let's just carry on with the tech for now and stuff that I've bought and then we'll go into the clothing side of things and stuff like that so let's carry on for now with this 
This is something that I got bought for Christmas from my mum and dad. This is the Hero 5 session. I've already got the Hero 5 black and I will be purchasing another GoPro in the future. And what that's going to be for is obviously different angles for when I'm doing car videos. I'm hoping for a lot of car videos this year. And this, along with the other ones, is going to make things so much more easier for me. And hopefully the audio is going to be better from the Hero 4 Black that I'm going to pick up as well. I'm going to pick up a Hero 4 Black. Hopefully that will be the in-car camera for the audio quality. And the Hero 5 and the Hero 5 Session are going to be like angled. So... Hopefully guys we can get some good stuff with this, make sure you stay tuned, the video coming soon on that one. And then something that we got sent out basically, this was in the hotel when I got there, it arrived the day before I arrived out there. And there's a video coming on this, I've already done the unboxing of it, but I haven't released it to the channel yet as I want to do some more testing on it. But this is front row, so make sure you stay tuned for this guys, this is the front row camera. There's a video coming on this very very soon. So make sure you stay tuned. I have, as I say, I have unboxed it. There is an unboxing video. It's actually in the memory card to this camera. So make sure you stay tuned for that video. As I say though, I want to add a few bits to the end of that video. Next up, this was a bit of a weird impulse buy for me. Basically, I've, the shop that I normally buy my Ray-Bans in has closed down and gone. Now, last May, I was looking for these sunglasses. I know where I had them. The shop that I normally buy my Ray-Bans from said they could order me them but they wouldn't have been there in time for me obviously still being there with going home. So I left it in November while I was there I noticed the shop had gone and with noticing the shop had gone I sort of left it and just basically left it, just let it go and then I just bought the Snapchat sunglasses as you know. So I bought the Snapchat sunglasses and forgot all about these then while we were out there I was walking through Disney Springs and there they were in the shop window all out brand new all official these are the Ray-Ban Blaze these things are absolutely stunning I absolutely love these to bits and I can't wait for May to be out in Orlando I'm hopefully gonna have an amazing car and I'm gonna be having these and I think I may take the Snapchat sunglasses. I'm not too sure just yet, but it may just be these. But there will be vlogs coming from Orlando in May. So obviously stay tuned for them guys. You know there's gonna be a lot coming. There's gonna be plenty of giveaways coming as well. But these are the Ray-Ban Blaze sunglasses. I absolutely love these. Even when they first got announced, I was like, I've got to have a pair of those. And I bit the bullet and bought myself a pair. Now, while I was in the airport, there's something that obviously never got came through on the vlog was the fact that while we were in the airport, before obviously all the flight confusion and stuff like that, what happened, I was in, as you know, I bought a travel backpack before we left. Uh, that's the Advanced Traveller, which is over there, which I've been using every single day. Again, video coming on that, on what I had in the bag to go out to Orlando with, so... Make sure you stay tuned for that one, but this is what I bought in Dixon's in the airport. Basically, I'm fed up of having that camera strap. I'd sooner just have this where I can reach in, grab the camera out the bag, snap away and put it back in and put it back over my shoulder. It comes with its own little rain cover, all kinds of compartments inside it. Stay tuned, there's a video coming on this guy on what I'm going to keep in it and what it's going to be used for. So make sure you stay tuned for that, but there's all kinds of different compartments. There's zips on zips on zips everywhere in it. But it's going to keep the camera nice and protected, and I'd sooner wear this on my side and have this over my shoulder than that camera strap I've been using because it makes me concerned using that camera strap on whether it's going to actually hold the camera or whether all of a sudden I'm just going to wear this almighty crash and the camera's going to go west. So this was an, a good idea when I, when I, well, when I bought it. And obviously it's only just come back to me because it was in the suitcase. But there we go, that's that. So now let's jump into the clothing side of things. I know this video is going to run on for quite a while guys. One of the first couple of videos back. So let's jump into it. Basically what I've been getting into recently is champion clothing. Now I've just noticed recently that it's actually come back out over here in the UK. Now this is the champion jumper. It comes with the champion logo on the sleeve in colour. 
and then it comes with a small champion logo there on the same colour as the jumper this thing is absolutely is so so comfortable it feels great on, it's comfortable, I wore this coming home on the aeroplane for obviously the, the travelling time that we were away, well the Friday and then to the Sunday obviously this needs to go in the water. Then I bought, we were out one day, it was pretty cold and they were selling these off for $20, this is another champion, this is a hoodie again you've got champion logo on the bottom in colour champion logo in the same colour as the hoodie but these things are so comfortable guys if you get chance if you're into your hoodies and you like wearing jumpers and stuff like that or even the t-shirts I bought and the tracksuit bottoms that I bought so so comfortable I've never known a clothing brand to be that comfortable before but these are so so comfortable I mean this is the champion t-shirt everything looks pretty big by the way but that's actually only a large this is the t-shirt, it's so thick, nice material and this was only like $20 but everything was on sale and obviously if you go to the, if you go to Orlando, go to the outlets because that's where you're going to get all your good deals from but then another make I've started to get into is some Under Armour stuff basically I bought this t-shirt again because it was after Christmas, everything was on sale in the outlets you know, that was like $11 for that t-shirt this one was like $11, these pants were like 12 now these are actually champion basically tracksuit bottoms or like just laser, just laser arm pants but you know nice material, nice and breathable, nice and light just throw these on, you know, chill around the house etc. I was in a shop called J Crew, which is nice I've heard of and they, they had this nice jumper it's nice material, it's going to be nice for like going out for like meals and stuff like that with the wife. You know, if you want to go out for the night, throw this on, a little t-shirt underneath it, pair of jeans, etc. And yeah, but this was like a nice, nice thin jumper material and pretty cheap. You know, it was meant to be $50, I got it for like 23 with tax, so J Crew jumper. Now moving on to jackets, I managed to pick up two jackets as well while I was there. I picked up this this Under Armour jacket, this one Under Armour. It's got like a weird shell line and hood, weird same material there, but it's nice and it's a nice. Basically, I was out in it last night with the wife, went off something to eat, etc., and went to IKEA yesterday, and I had this on. Kept me pretty warm, and it was easy to drive in. Normally, I don't like wearing jackets to drive in, but I had that, and then. This one I was on an Ard Nova for a good week or so. It's khaki green. It's a Nike jacket. It's windproof and water repellent as well. This one, this khaki green one. It's from the Nike Tech series, I believe this is from. I believe it's called the, the Tech series. The Tech Pack it's called, the Nike Tech Pack. That's the stuff that I bought from Orlando guys. I mean this is this is pretty much everything I bought. I bought some crazy stuff, but it was definitely worth it in the long run as I say there's going to be a lot of videos coming over the next couple of weeks so make sure you stay tuned for them uh, a lot of as I said home tech going to be coming in pretty shortly guys so make sure you stay tuned for that let me know your favourite piece of tech or clothing you know I'm getting into the champion stuff for some reason it's super comfortable super lightweight and, and they were perfect for me you know while I was away and while I was coming home etc it was uh, pretty good so make sure you stay tuned for those those videos guys, there's going to be a lot coming up. But as I say, let me know your favourite piece that I've bought, or let me know what you buy when you go out there. You know, as I said, if you go to Orlando, make sure you head over to the outlets. The outlets are where you're going to get some pretty good deals. I don't really shop that often, but as you can tell this time, I definitely, definitely did. <laughs> so, thanks for watching guys, I truly appreciate it. Give this video a big thumbs up for me, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Take it easy guys, thanks for watching, see you all later.